your thoughts on how you know generative AI and you know these rapid breakthroughs in AI in the last months could help you make cars sort of you know less hard to make. Thank you. I don't see AI helping us make cars anytime soon. Um, at that point, I mean, <laughs> at no point any of us working, I think. Big, big problems. Uh, we'll just chill out. Um, I mean, I'm a little worried about the AI stuff. Um, I think it's uh, something, I don't know, which we should be concerned about. Uh, I don't know, I think we should need, need some kind of like regulatory authority or something that's overseeing AI development and just making sure that it's operating within the public interest and you know, it's quite a dangerous, quite a dangerous technology. Um, and I, I, I fear I may have done some things to accelerate it, which is, I don't know. So, I mean, some of the AI stuff I think is just obviously useful, like what we're doing with self-driving, which is, you know, some people think is an AGI type problem. I don't think it's quite an AGI problem, but it certainly requires uh, very sophisticated neural nets uh, because the, the road system is designed for eyes and biological neural nets. So naturally, the analog to that is uh, cameras with uh, digital neural nets. Um, and uh, yeah, the thing we've, we found is it's just, there's a, <laughs> if you actually look at our neural net architecture in the car, it's kind of insane, frankly. Uh, nets upon nets upon nets upon nets. <laughs>